from Acton Town to Wimbledon, from Brixton to beyond. Come love your London with us and sing with us this song. There's no more smog but we've a vlog to brighten up your day. Come love your London with us from Q to Haringey. Come out with us and play. Love your London. Have a banana. Hello, Love Your London fans and followers, and a happy new year. New year, new lockdown. The following episodes were filmed on the 3rd and the 4th of November last year, just before lockdown number two. And as you will have seen from the opening titles, we start our journey in... Alexandra Palace, which comes alphabetically after our nine-part extravaganza on Aldgate. Ten, if you include our highly popular bagel shop blind test special. Okay, we're in Alexandra Palace. Welcome oh. to Love Your London. Yay, we can take the masks off. A beaut, sunny morning. Oh. Yeah, I didn't bring my sunglasses because um, we weren't it, was rain, it was raining when we left and the, um, the app said that it would be raining, 60% chance of rain all day, awful cloud. Look at this, so I'm going to be squinting a lot today, I'm afraid. Anyway, Alexandra Palace. Sunny, sunny. Welcome to Alexandra Palace. We've done Acton, we've done Allgate, and obviously alphabetically comes Alexandra Palace next. Um, so, what can I tell you about this place? Well, first of all, just to let you know that uh, we're doing, we're not doing Alexandra Palace, we're doing Alexandra Palace to Musmore Hill, which means that we're not really covering this part over here uh, to the east, which is in fact called Wood Green. Um, because we're doing Wood Green as part of Bounds Green and Bose Park. So Bounds Green, Bose Park, Wood Green is all going to be one. Uh, we're using the natural border created by the railway line uh, as our edge. So first thing got to say about this place is accessibility. Absolutely terrible. Uh, there is no set free access whatsoever. Uh, no lift. Uh, there's absolutely no way of getting out of there. There's not even a ramp to get down to get off if you're a wheelchair user to get off the train. Um, and there's no there's no toilet either for disabled or for uh, or for non-disabled. I won't film you weeing. Apologies, lovely people of Wood Green, but what is one to do? The pub isn't open yet. We've just come from a long ride across London and there are no toilets. Don't be angry with me, be angry with Transport for London. That station has been there for 161 years. You'd have thought that by now they could have at least installed a port or two. Uh, but anyway, enough of the negatives. A little bit of the history of this place. So this station was originally called Wood Green. It was opened in 1859. Um, it was then called Alexandra Palace. Uh, there's, a, there's a very good reason for that, a very big and very tall reason we'll be looking at, checking that out later. Um, it has been called Wood Green again since in the interim period, but the Alexander Palace name just stuck. Um, there are other stations that have been called Alexander Palace, we'll be checking them out later, but they don't exist anymore. Um, and uh, the, the fact that it's no longer called Wood Green is probably uh, due to the fact that there is another station now called Wood Green on the Piccadilly line over there which um, makes more sense and there's just no point having more than one Wood Green station. When we get to Shepherd's Butch you'll see the complications that arise when you have stations with the same name. So um, this station uh, was almost a tube station. Uh, it's been, there's always been this um, possibility of having a tube station and to be honest this area really does need it. Um, Okay, this is a tad confusing, so I'll explain it with this graphic. Now, back in 1898, the plan was to have an underground tube line linking Strand Station, which later became known as Aldwych, with Wood Green, which, as you'll remember, was what this station was then called. The line was to be called the Great Northern and Strand Railway. However, in 1902, the Underground Electric Railways Company of London decided instead to extend the Brompton and Piccadilly Circus Railway and finish it at Finsbury Park. What this means is that Alexandra Palace, then Wood Green, remained a train station on the Great Northern Railway, as you can see from this 1906 advert from the Illustrated London News. When the Piccadilly Line was extended in 1932 beyond Finsbury Park, it stopped at Wood Green, of course, 
but that was not the same wood green as the station we're at now. No, Ali Pali's dream of having a tube station was completely thwarted, and the new station had usurped the old station's name. Just to confuse matters, there's even more wood greens. There was a station called Noel Park and Wood Green, very close to the current Wood Green, which was on the Palace Gates line, which linked Seven Sisters to a station called Palace Gates Wood Green. To confuse matters even more, even though the palace is on the other side of the railway line to where I'm standing now, Palace Gates was just at the other end of St Michael's Terrace. It closed to passengers in 1963. Between 1873 and 1954 there was another station right alongside Alexandra Palace itself called Alexandra Palace, although confusingly between 1891 and 1898 it was called Alexandra Park, at the same time as the station we are at right now was called Wood Green Alexandra Park. Ah! The building is actually still there and it's currently a community centre, but what line was it on? was actually a very short railway line linking Highgate with the actual venue of Alexandra Palace, stopping on the way at Cranley Gardens and Muswell Hill, which used to be called Alexandra Park Muswell Hill, when it opened, just to confuse matters further. Check out that red light. Roxanne! Oh yeah, that's it. You can... You don't have to put it on the... What is it? I don't know. Put on the... Put Roxanne! Put on the red line. There we go, so that's the, that's the, that was the station. It's such a shame that this line no longer exists because the area is really badly serviced by public transport. Muswell Hill hasn't had a passenger station since 1954 and the only station to service the venue of Alexandra Palace is this one, which is a good 15 minutes hike uphill. How different things could have been. In 1935 there was talk of Muswell Hill Station and Alexandra Palace Station, that's the abandoned one alongside the venue, joining up with the Northern Line in a project called Northern Heights, all part of the New Works programme to expand the underground. But then in 1939 war happened and it no longer became a priority. In 1954 the plan was dropped altogether and the money was spent instead on extending the Central Line. This was the final nail in the coffin for the old Alexandra Palace station and the railway line linking it to Highgate via Muswell Hill, and certainly the end of any aspirations of it becoming part of the underground network. But could happier times be around the corner? What's this? Crossrail 2? Would a stop at Alexandra Palace? This was first proposed in 2013 and was wildly popular. This was going to involve a proper underground station at Alexandra Palace too, and it would have been accessible and no doubt have toilets also. It would have linked New Southgate to central London and beyond via Angel. Amazing! But you see that little dog leg in dark green? Yep, you've guessed it. In 2015, an alternative route bypassing Alexandra Palace and going instead via Wood Green, that's the current Wood Green, not this one, was tabled and is probably the route that will eventually be used, should this project ever get off the map. Construction was meant to start in 2023 and to be open to the public in 2033. However, on the 1st of November 2020, just two days before filming this episode, all plans were shelved because of the £1.8 billion bailout fund. This is money that the government has given Transport for London to recoup losses suffered because of the pandemic and to stop TfL from increasing fares by more than what they'd already agreed, as well as their threats to scrap free fares for children and the over 60s and extend the congestion zone throughout the entire capital. That money had been originally earmarked for the beginning of work on Crossrail 2 and no date has been set aside to restart the project. But since it looks as though they were going to bypass Alexandra Palace altogether, who cares? That's for another episode. By the way, that pub behind me, that's a starting gate. Now, I'm going to tell you, it'll all become clear later on in this little series on um, Alexandra Palace to Muswell Hill. I'm going to be showing you why there's a pub here called the starting gate. Um, spoiler alert, it's something to do with horses, as you probably would have imagined. But I'm going to show you where the, the exact place uh, that this refers to uh, a little later on. So that's fun. If you're an equestrian lover, you'll enjoy that little bit. In fact, if you're an equestrian lover, you probably won't enjoy the place because a lot of equestrian lovers really hated that place. But anyway, I'll explain a little bit more about that later. 
you'll, be, you'll find out that Alexander Palace has had quite a few sort of, it sort of never really lived up to its expectations in, in some ways. Um, I'm, not, I'm not being nasty here, you'll see this, there have always been some problems. It took a long time uh, for it to sort of really take off to begin with, largely because two weeks after it was built, in fact 16 days after it was built, uh, there was a huge fire. Um, and it was gutted and they took two years to repair it. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when we get there. Uh, it's a quite a fascinating story and it's not the only fire that it's had. The People's Palace or the Palace of the People has had lots of names. The name Alexandra Palace has stuck. We're going to tell you a little bit about who Alexandra was and why she was such a popular figure around here a little later on. But come with us. Ah! Now this is a nice interesting little thing. This is a little community garden and uh, last Sunday of every month they have a, a really nice little sort of uh, community thing where people get together uh, for, I think between the hours of three and five so that's really sweet um, and uh, other things happen throughout the year but yeah little community garden there's quite a few of these in London Brilliant. Anyway, we've got to go up towards the palace, so really looking forward to this. Uh, follow me. Okay, follow me. Now this road actually takes you all the way to the palace, but there's a pedestrian area, a pedestrian route, which is really nice. Um, yeah, this is it. Follow me. No, there's a little pathway. Yeah, no, it's someone's house. Our shore's up here. Hang on. It's been a long time since I've been here. Hang on, maybe it's up here. Well, oh, that's someone's house as well. Let's see it. Here it is. Oh. Cool. Let's. Oh, allow me to catch my breath. I told you it was steep. You know what? Because of lockdown, we are probably not going to be able to do much filming before the middle of February. Therefore, we're going to make these episodes a little bit shorter than usual so that there's enough for a weekly episode until lockdown is over. So you're going to have to wait until next week to find out how Alexandra Palace got its name, its devastating fires and Haringey Council's ongoing mismanagement of the venue. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. It won't cost you a penny to do so, so if you do want to shove some money our way, you can use Patreon. We won't say no. The link is in the description below. However, what we really, really want more than anything else is for you to share it on your social media, to your wall, or to any Facebook groups you think may be interested in this video. The more people who view and appreciate our videos, the more YouTube will recommend our videos to other people. See you next week. From Acton Town to Wimbledon, from Brixton to beyond, love your London. Have a banana.